This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 Hello, hello. First things first, you want to start by creating a small story. You don't want anything too big for these. Second, you want to work in multiples of 18. So, for example, 8, you know, 8, not 18, 8. So 8, 16, so forth. Split your paper up into four equal parts. You want to label it so that your first sheet is an 8, 1, 6, and 3 for pages. And then when you do your second set of pages, you want to do it to where it's 2, 7, 4, and 5. And in that way, whenever you cut your book and everything, and then you fold everything, uh, once you get it double-sided, of course, then you'll make sure to have everything on the proper pages so that you can fold it one time, and that way it will get your proper comic. So the next step, of course, is going to be to get it printed in a way, either you can print it out at home, you know, if you want to lay it out in like Microsoft Word or something like that, or if you have a printer that's like an Office Max or something like that, you can print it up with and get it cheaply done. And you can, of course, print it that way. And then that way you have it double sided. And then basically, once you do that, you will um, then cut it across, of course, the middle section of the two big page sections. So that that way you can fold them and create your pages that you need to create. Once you get that done, of course, you will want to go ahead and start working on a cover. So that way you can have a cover and use it with the covers. You can do two of those on a page as well. So as you do your counts, you want to consider that. And so then once you get them cut and everything, you'll want to go ahead and get a staple and go ahead and get them stapled together. And then you should have a little mini comic book that you can uh, take with you to cons. If you speak at schools or speak at other engagements, things like that, it's something you can hand out, something that you can sell really cheap if you need to for a couple buck or two. Uh, because you just want to make sure you're making your cost back minimum. And then just enjoy the fact you got it out there. You have now created a mini comic. All right, now I want to tell you a little bit about the swag that I got from CadetsCon. Just to let you know, when you look at this, I want you to know that some of the stuff that's in here is not going to be suitable for children. So just know that beforehand. This is a kid's book done by Boom Studios called Bolivar. They're actually going to be doing a sequel to it next month. This is Dirk Manning's book on writing for comics. It's called Right or Wrong. This is the front and this is the back, of course, that you see here. This is his book, Hope, that he did. The first issue was only available on Free Comic Book Day. And then this is the Cadets Con exclusive second issue. Uh, these are three works that I was able to get from Vault Comics, and then there'll be another one as well. The Vagrant Queen is one that's going to be on Sci-Fi Network next year as an actual show. This is uh, Eric Powell's Goon book that he wrote. He's been writing for 20 years, and he's been doing a 20-year tour this year. This is Waking Life. Uh, as you saw, this is Ben Humanick that I spoke with on the last interview session. And then this is Krista. And uh, I spoke with her as well. Oh, look, there's this book. Gee, wonder whose book that is. That's that's Pencil Ninja comic book, guys. If you want to go get that, it's available on Amazon. So please go pick that up. And above all else, do me a favor, as always, be blessed to be blessed by somebody, guys. Take care. <laughs>